A small neighborhood in Delco is gradually returning to normal two weeks after a storm caused major flooding. But some residents on Florence Avenue in Collingdale say they still cannot live in their homes because their utilities are still shut off. CBS Philadelphia Delaware County reporter Madeline Wright shows you tonight how the community is springing into action to help out. This is what Florence Avenue in Collingdale looked like in mid-December after a coastal storm brought more than two inches of rain. Two weeks later, the water is long gone. But Daryl Howell says the flooding has left his home unlivable. I'm still without gas and water as, as we speak. Um, I just had to call off today from two of my jobs. Actually, I work two jobs um, because I'm still working on how to organize my entire family. Borough officials say 18 homes on this street flooded when heavy rain overloaded the culvert of Pusey Run, a small stream that empties into Darby Creek. Collingdale Mayor Donna Mateo Spadea met with some of the flood victims in person. They're destitute. They have nothing. These are people that are renting homes in the lower end of Collingdale, and they've lost what they didn't even have to lose. The mayor says individuals and corporations stepped up, donating almost $4,000 in gift cards to stores like Giant and Walmart. She says she's planning to give the gift cards to flood victims at Tuesday night's borough council meeting. To know that I could help them in any way, shape, or form, but that our community came together. It's amazing. Howell says he's grateful for the community support, but he says he wants more done to get back into his home. Right now, his two-year-old daughter and her siblings are staying with relatives while he and his wife camp out at home with no heat or water. My frustration couples with my disappointment. I'll put it as that. It's a long road to recovery. He's still searching for the light at the end of the tunnel. In Collingdale, Delaware County, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.